Hey yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another reaction video on my channel. So, today um, I have picked out a video from Mad Rose. Um, and this one here is called Tales of Talent Show Cringe. Now, from what I've seen so far, from the couple first seconds I saw, and from the thumbnail, etc., it seems to be a um, compilation of stories from Reddit or somewhere else, like from the internet, where people talk about stories of them being on Hilton shows. Um, yeah, I thought that sounds pretty interesting. I have never been on a talent show myself. Don't know how it is with you guys. Maybe one of you actually was there. Um, as always, link to the original video in the description. And enough talking. Let's get started, shall we? I was singing at a talent show when I forgot the words to the song because I was so nervous and started motioning at my mum to come. Like, stuff like that is something I'm really scared of. Like, I don't have the courage to go on stage and do stuff like that to begin with. But just the fear of forgetting lyrics or something like that. Ugh. Like, I remember, I think it was like fourth grade, third grade, somewhere in elementary school, we had to do a play. And I knew the, knew the words, but as soon as I was on the stage, nah. No, nothing happened. I just, I just blanked out. I just could not say any of the words. I just got everything. ...to the stage and bring me the lyrics I had printed. The title of the song, let's not forget talent shows. Grotesque things Ooh. really, aren't they? We shove let's them not on the stage and make them dance for us to cringe at. And I feel I have the authority to talk about this because... Wait, is that him? Hey guys, Yo! Matt, Matt Rose. Uh, it was January 2012, and I'd set myself the task of appearing on as many different TV shows as possible, regardless of what they were. So I lied to ITV that I was really good at... Throw things up in the air and catch them in my mouth. Really? And that is my contribution to the arts, yeah. How about that? <laughs> this is something I can sort of do, about as well as anyone, really. But obviously on stage, I made a pleb of myself, like most people do on talent shows, and like most traumatic things, Ooh. this all starts at school. There was a girl in That's painful to watch. But hey, at least he did have the balls to go out there. Can't really compliment his performance, but at least he did have the courage, you know? In my middle school who sang Forget You by CeeLo Green to a cardboard cutout of Justin Bieber. In 8th grade, a guy played Ooh. a montage of chords from seven different Avenged Sevenfold songs. Played a montage of chords from seven different... Devoted it to a girl he liked and messed up on every one of them. Performed... <laughs> the poor girl, man. That probably feels more like an insult than a compliment. If that song is for you and you mess it up every single time. Swifty by Rick and Morty. At my middle school talent what? show, a kid's talent was jumping over a basketball on a pogo stick. I wouldn't call that a bad talent. Yeah. Can you do it? Oh, I can't do it. Neither oh, can he. Okay. Formed a okay. I, I had... I had a slide to... Uh... I thought he was going to follow up with some comments, yeah. Okay. But to be fair, maybe he did horribly on purpose, you know? Who knows? Maybe he wanted just to get, get a laugh out of you. In case that was what he wanted. He was successful, you know? Dance routine to the Arthur theme song. It was an eighth grader, and it was me. Probably mine in sixth grade. Pick a card, any card. Volunteer picks okay. card, and I start trick. Uh, can you put your card on top? Volunteer does so, and I finish trick. Now is this oh. your card? No. Oh. I proceeded to fail every trick but one. What? Every few minutes, I would just switch to that trick again, so I'd get applauded. A kid did on. Oh man. Ah. 
that's painful. That really sucks. Pit farts to the tune of Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC played Bring Me To Life by Evanescence what? on a kazoo. Very small, religious, private school. Okay, okay, like, we can already stop here. Just from what you said, something bad's gonna happen. Rap Bible verse repeatedly over a solo piano cover of I like to move it, move it in front of the entire school and parents. Why? What? Bro, are you okay? It's 10th grade. To simulate how that might have sounded, I hit up Bible verse. I don't want to know, man. I don't want to know. Generator.com, which randomly allocated us a verse one, Kings 857. The Lord our God be with us, as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us nor for us. One kid's talent was eating broccoli. Literally Bruh. got on stage with a big head of broccoli, took four or five bites and got off stage. What? Out of all the things you could have eaten, you just eat Broccoli. Ew. My two best friends and I played a live Yu-Gi-Oh match in front of the entire auditorium. No one could see. Like, that's something I would have liked to see. See the cards being played, and I'm sure 99.5% of the audience didn't understand what was going on. Hey, don't worry. Yu-Gi-Oh players don't know what's going on either. I mean, they can't even read the card effects. So, that's something I would have liked to see live. That would have been cool. I dressed up in purple short shorts and I danced to a remix of Spider Dance from Undertale. I rapped Will Smith. What's up with these people always dancing to music? What? It's Miami. However, no one else could hear the music as I rapped along with my Walkman. Oh. Ah. What? <laughs> what? Why? Oh, I did this with the Pokemon theme song in second grade. I still wake up in a cold sweat. I sang Never Gonna Get... Look, second grade is not that bad. How old was he? Uh, he didn't list it. We don't know how old he was. Hmm. I still wake up in a cold sweat. I sang Never Gonna Give You Up at the school talent show a few years back, like the comedian I am, and progressively got quieter and quieter before I got embarrassed and cried. Never go <laughs> You know, if you're gonna go that far, you, you might as well commit. Gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. <laughs> For a talent show. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for this accurate simulation. In school, I want song Titanic by Celine Dion, age 10. And guess what? Well, I can tell you one thing right now. The song's not fucking called Titanic. I didn't know any <laughs> of the bloody words except for the chorus. To make things worse, everyone accused me of miming. I forgot the words to a queen. Of miming? Ooh. Poor girl. In song and repeated the chorus for three minutes. It is one of the most embarrassing Bro. things I can remember doing. Back when bottle flipping was all the right. Bro. Three minutes of chorus, okay. I mean, you're definitely going to stand out compared to the others. Because you're going to do something they would never do. You are one of a kind. Probably not in a good way, but... Age, there was one different. kid that made a huge deal of flipping bottles in the line waiting to perform. What? Bottle flipping's not all the rage anymore. I filmed this to send to my mate just eight months ago. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You got that one. Hey, I mean, he kind of got that one, you know? A win is a win.
How long have you been trying that? Matt, are you okay? Bro, how long is this clip? <laughs> the fucking grunting makes it so much funnier. Wait, what did he say? What you saying? Anyway, what you Okay, I thought he was gonna say something like easy, just to make it funnier. He got up to preform, he lined five desks up in a row, walked to the opposite end of the stage, and proceeded to flip five glass cups, shattered each one in quick succession, and ended it all with a dab. Had a kid jump. <laughs> he does this and just Ends it up with a dab. He knew fully well what he was going to do. He knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Bro, what? I'm trying to imagine that. IRL. You're just sitting there waiting for the next entry and he just breaks glasses, dabs and leaves. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, boy. Juggle three rocks to the entirety of I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. A kid played the final countdown on a keyboard for literally 10 minutes until someone stepped in and unplugged it. Everyone politely clapped. Oh. Oh. For 10 minutes and no one stopped him. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be the best one so far. For fucking 10 minutes. How did no one step in earlier? Like, the song does not go 10 minutes. Everyone what the fuck? Politely clapped. When I was 13, I got up on stage and completely froze up. And instead of doing whatever the fuck I planned to do, mm -hmm. I just said, map and slowly walked off stage. Well, thanks for sharing, and a good idea to do so on Reddit, which as we all know... But what place did you end up finishing in? That's what I want to know, you know? It's a safe space. <laughs> map. Map. <laughs> did a stand-up comedy routine at the elementary school <laughs> talent show that was just me retelling an entire Pinky in the Brain episode. This kid recited a Dave Chappelle stand-up and tried to pass it off as his own original content. In oh. Listen, bro, you can't be doing that. You can't just steal someone's, someone's comedy gig. Especially someone that's famous. Like, people are gonna know. Like, if it's some, some minor contest and you steal it from some random comedian no one really knows, okay. But from someone who's really popular, that is a big L. Middle school, a couple boys did a karate demonstrate. Oh, right, well, we probably don't. Yeah, because these ones always go so well in talent shows, right? I need to read all of this to figure out how this one's going to end. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Ah, had to stop the show to clean up the blood. Ah. Hey, yo, what? Nah, I'm reading the whole thing. What the? One held a board up and the other leapt through the air and tried to kick it. Mm hmm. Missed by a mile and kicked his body in the face. It got a broken nose, and they had to stop the show to clean up the blood. Insanity ensued from the girls in the crowd. Well, you got your 15 minutes of fame, but it came at the cost of a broken nose and the traumatization of, of some girls. Yeah, I don't think it was worth it.
friends. Uh, da, 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 ah, had to stop the show to clean up the blood. I did a jazz tap dance with my then best friend to all of that jazz. This is then followed by a keyboard smash, and you should know by now I fully enunciate all these. It probably is ironically my best talent, uh, but this sort of key smash was a first for me. A 90 virgintillion, didn't even know that was a word. Nine nonillion, try saying that fast. Nine hundred ninety nine octillion. What is going on here? Two hundred ninety seven trillion. Seven hundred twenty five million. One hundred forty one million. Five hundred twenty seven thousand eight hundred thirty nine. Semicolon. Eighty five under cillion. Eight hundred sixty nine decillion. Huh? Five hundred eighty nillion. One hundred fifty five octillion. Two hundred eighty four septillion. Nine hundred ninety five sextillion. Six hundred twenty five quintillion. Two hundred thirty one quadrillion. Three hundred fifty three trillion. Um... Six hundred thirty seven billion. Three hundred eighty three million. Nine hundred ninety. Again, meant. Are you okay? I don't even. I don't even understand what's going on here. Divided by ten. I did Fortnite dances. Someone. And what? Wait, was that the rating out of ten? Bro. Ten. I did Fortnite dances. So Disqualified, bro. What the fuck? Someone built a Lego set. It's true. Yo, that takes more effort. That takes more effort and skill than the Fortnite dances. Impersonation. A trombone. Hey. That is Trump impersonation. You know what? A good tr Trump impersonation is a st stand up comedy in, in itself. Like, I've, I've mentioned in a video before how I think Trump is, is so fucking funny. And I want him as president again. Not because he's a good politician, but because he's just fucking entertaining and such a me material. Trombone solo of every time we touch. Jesus Christ. Kid got on stage? Now, the song is nice. A solo of the song doesn't sound bad either, but a trombone solo. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Christ. Kid got on stage, stood on top of a chair while he sang Itsy Bitsy Spider, then ate a chili and a razor. My eh? Hey, yo, what? He sings fucking Itsy Bitsy Spider. Then he eats a chili. And then fu a fucking eraser. Huh? Are these people okay? What the fuck? Then ate a chili and a razor. My school talent show, I got told off for playing Metallica and trying to get the crowd to chance die. Best friend. Hey, what? Okay. And at the time, talked me into doing a tumbling routine with her, even though. A fucking what? My best friend Google. Let's see. What is that? Ah. Uh. Eh. Okay. I think I get what it is. But it doesn't really sound that impressive to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's no way in hell I could ever do that. But it's not the kind of stuff that would be exciting to me in the talent show. Neither of us was in gymnastic. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be interesting. There was one point where I was supposed to be lifted up in the air by friend and then do something, except we mm -hmm. can't get the timing right, and mm -hmm. friend just keeps bouncing me up and down, trying to do it until I loudly mm -hmm. proclaim, Jenny, put me down, all to the tune of Amy Grant's Baby Baby. However, let's end on someone who does know what they're doing, because... Okay. Is if you can't make it, break it. Just tear the whole Excuse me, what? Institution down. Dad here, who sat through a lot of these. Oh. Yo, that's cool. The perspective from someone else, from the other side. 
The cringiest, that was by far the most awesome, was by this one kid. He was like nine or so at the time, came on stage with a Rubik's Cube. He had people say, three, two, one, go! He moved his hands frantically. After two minutes, he held it up. Huge smile on his face. Not even a side solved. Takes a bow, leaves the stage waving. He had no intention of solving it. We all got trolled in a glorious fashion. So yes, screw talent shows. Screw impressing anyone. Do you know how surprised everyone would be if you said yes? <laughs> Who cares what Simon Cowell thinks? Because he now looks like this. Ooh. Right, if you were to open your mouth, see this direction, quite hard. So, if I stand up here, yeah, yeah, and I'll, I'll chuck it in the air, and then you catch it in your mouth. Okay. Are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. You ready? Mm. Guaranteed to get it in. Here we go. You could fuck off as well. Hey, what a prick. Look at him in his stupid smucks face. Hey, you're a, you're a prick. You're a prick. Okay. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. A bit... I'm not sure what I quite expected, to be honest, but... I didn't think there was gonna be that many, um, school talent shows involved there. But it was still pretty interesting, and... Indulging in other people's cringe is also quite entertaining every single time you know um yeah i enjoyed that one i hope you did as well um if you did and you have some suggestions for other videos like oh i typed in here uh could be perhaps another video next time if you have some suggestions let me know i always appreciate those very much and I hope you guys have a nice Friday and a nice weekend. And I hope maybe I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, have a great day and bye.